Welcome back and in today's video I'll be guiding you through the process on how you can customize the keyboard layout of your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. So the first step is to open settings and in settings you want to scroll and select general management. Under general management tap on Samsung keyboard settings then from here you want to scroll down until you find the option layout and tap on it. So under layout, you can see already you have your keyboard preview here and you have all sorts of options that you can add to your keyboard. So for example, you can choose to change the button and symbol layout. So currently it's set to the default, but you also have this option labeled alternative. So when you turn on alternative, then you tap on apply you should notice your keyboard layout changing to suit how alternative looks like. But this only works if depending on your keyboard language. So if you're using a different keyboard language, then alternative might give you a different version of that same keyboard language. But currently, alternative and default are giving me the exact same keyboard for English. So it's up to you to decide if you want to enable or disable alternative. You also have the option of adding number keys. So if you tap on the toggle here, you can see the number keys appearing on your keyboard. And then you also have the option of adding alternative characters to your keyboard. And you can choose to enable or disable that option. And you can also choose the language for the alternative characters as well as the number keys. So when you tap on it and you have a different language, say for example, you have Mandarin added, then you should see the alternative characters added onto your keyboard as well. When you scroll further down, you have these spacebar styles. So you have the general options. You have a comma, a full stop, dot com, and the w slash dot com. So you can choose to enable or disable any of these options. And you'll notice as you're enabling or disabling them, they're being removed from the keyboard. So for example, dot com, if we tap on the toggle like that, it gets removed. But when you tap on it again, it gets added onto my keyboard. So that's how you can customize the keyboard of your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, if you want to customize, say you're using a different language, then you can go back to your Samsung keyboard settings, select languages and types. Then you want to tap on any of the languages you have added. So you have more than one language added onto your keyboard. Then you can see they have different uh, you, when you tap on the language, you have different styles you, to choose from. So you have the QWERTY, you have the QWERTS, AZERTY, and the 3x4. And with every selection, you can go back and customize the layout of each keyboard. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.